we're going to look at tying our um, tying up our hackamore. Um, when we get into tying it, I essentially do the same thing every time. There's one small variation, and that variation comes in when I have a hackamore that has a plug. By plug, I mean there's a spacer right here in the middle. Okay, this one has a small plug. Um, if the plug is wider than the makate. Um, I really don't like them that wide, that anything that's wider than what the Makati I'm using. Um, but this one, you can see, has a plug. This one does not have a plug. Okay. Um, this one, when it's braided, it comes out at a V here. That's important. Some of the hackamores, the lesser quality hackamores, they come straight out. Um, that can start to create some problems when we're tying our, our Makate. But this one comes out at a nice V, but there is no plug. So I'll show you the two variations that I use when I tie it with or without a plug. When I tie my makate with the plug, it's really simple. All I do is I hold this like it's going to be going on the horse. I take the tail and I drop it through the middle and I just lay it right in there. How long you make this tail, it is not really important as long as it's not flopping around and hitting your horse in the chin. Um, I usually just leave a little bit, and all I'm going to do here is I've got this, so I put the heel knot in my right hand here, and I'm holding it this way. If I'm holding it this way, I've got this draped away from me. All I do is I begin to turn this hackamore towards me. So I'm going to take it by the heel knot in my right hand, and I turn it towards me. This puts a counterclockwise turn on my hackamore. So if we look down the center of it, you can see this rope is going counterclockwise this way. How many wraps I take on my hackamore um, is very important. I don't like to take more than three before I pull my rein. That's for me, that's max. If there's more than three before I pull my rein, if I do three wraps here, so what I'm looking at is the back side, the side that's facing the horse. I wrap it, make sure it's snug, pull it down towards the heel knot. One, two, three, before I pull my rein. If I have more than three, for me that's too much. It's going to dull the signal. It's just, it, the heel knot's going to flop around. It doesn't give as clean a signal. It's just not as refined. It's just a lot more crude in terms of how that horse is going to perceive what it is that I'm asking. If I have two, that's great, no problem. If I have one wrap before I pull my rein, that's okay too. I know some people who, they want their hackamore so they just have one wrap, no more. I usually use two to three wraps. Um, I find it works well for me. If something else works fine for somebody else, that's great. You know, if they prefer one, I have no objection to using one wrap in a rein. I usually use two to three. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put two wraps, push it down. Now all I do is I hold this again, the tail's facing down, I reach through my hackamore, I grab the rope, and I pull it out. So when I pull it out here, this is making my rein. How you adjust your rein, there is no one formula for adjusting your rein. I've seen places where it says that if you're sitting on a horse and you're on a young horse, if you take that rein and it it would it would go behind your head and around your neck and have that rein go down that that's the right length first of all i'm not going to do that on a young horse because that's a good way to get hurt real bad um i've heard other people say if you hang it on your on your horn and where it sits down by the fetlock joint that that's the correct setting um there actually is no one correct setting at least not for me because i change my rein depending on what i'm doing if i'm on a young colt that i think is going to buck i'm going to make a longer rein so when that horse drops his head down between his knees, he doesn't yank that rein out of my hand. If I'm on a horse that's a little further along, maybe I'm not going to worry about it because I don't want all that extra rein in my hand. Um, some people, when they ride, they ride with a loop in their hand. Some people prefer that. Some people don't. If you like it, then you're going to ride with a longer rein. If you don't like it, you're not. Um, and then last, if I'm roping, I don't want a big old piece of tail sticking out of my hand here while I've got my coils and my rope in my hand. So I'm going to shorten my rein when I'm roping. So how long I make my rein is depending on what I'm doing and some of its personal preference. If you like to hold a loop in your hand, if you don't. 
Okay, so when I adjust my rein, I know for me that on the on most of the horses I ride, if I've got this rein, this my left hand completely straight, my left arm is completely straight, and my right arm is slightly bent, that's usually pretty close. So I'm gonna set my rein. Now I make sure that I've got all the twist out of my rein. So if I've got a twist in my rein like this, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a hold of that and untwist that. I don't want any twist in my rein. So I've got this here. Now, what I'm gonna do here, this is all set. I've got this part is ready to go. All I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna put my thumb down. And I'm gonna reach inside here, okay? I'm gonna grab it. Now I'm gonna take my thumb up towards me. Thumb comes up towards me. This makes a loop. I put the hackamore through that loop. Pull the hanger out, pull this down tight, and there we go. We've got our rein here. We've got our get down end coming out here. I want this get down end coming out the left side out here. The other reason I do it this way is because this makes it very easy to adjust my reins. To adjust my reins, all I do is I put a little slack in this, and if I want to here, I pull my rein. I just made my rein longer. I put a little slack in this, I shorten my rein, I pull the get down end, I just made my rein shorter. And I can do it very quickly without having to take this off the horse. We're gonna take a look at how I tie one when it does not have a plug. And there's one small simple change in how I tie that. Where's the tail end, there we go. And find the tail end of the rope, there we go. Um, when I tie one, on a hackamore that does not have a plug. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna find which way this goes on the horse. When I put this tail in through, I'm not gonna to try to force it down here between these bars, okay? I um, see a lot of people do that, force it down, but it never sits completely down tight. It, there's always a gap in here. Um, and if it does sit down tight, it usually has smashed this makate and sometimes you will actually lose the twist in your makate. It'll open that up and it won't go back. So what I do is I put it, the tail end through where I want it. Again, this is facing away from me. I've got the heel, the, um, I've got this heel knot in my right hand. My first wrap goes under the tail. So you can see here, my first wrap will go under the tail my next strap goes over the tail. So now I have one under, one over. That prevents this pinching down in between those bars. Now everything lays nice and tight down against that, that heel knot. Then I can take however many turns. Right here we've got two turns. I can still do one wrap and a rein, even doing it this way. Now I've got two wraps. Uh, let's do three just for the heck of it. So now I've got three wraps, I've got it pushed down you can see here, everything is pushed down tight against that heel knot, okay? On the front side, everything's tight against the heel knot and we're not damaging our makate. And then from there, everything is the same.